boys blended in quite uh, quickly. They were Kane Bowden and Scotty, they were straight into school, you see, yeah. First day there, they turned up the school in their bare feet and they got some looks. They thought, well, these poor New Zealand boys without shoes on. <laughs> but here they do it, we don't wear, don't wear um, they were sloshing around the snow, you know, it was quite funny. People very similar to here, I mean, it was, you know, it was, it was a great crack, you just get on with anyone and, yeah, yeah, the boys played GA there, Bowden and Kane, that, yeah, yeah, and um, it was good. Uh, um, that was that was all on offer really there and and Bell and and Bell and Cree and Old Castle uh, um, was uh, was a football year. <laughs> yeah, you can uh, claim fame for that year. But yeah, that's all they did. I mean, they just sort of kicked balls around. There was no playstations in those days. We wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't, we didn't have any playstations in the house. It was just just out kicking around. And, and it was at school too, Pungaree School. That was we had only 80 boys at the school there and you know, 80 pupils all up. You know, it was a little school and. The lads all played, you know, right up from, you know, five right up to 12, you know, and they mixed and mingled and it was great, you know. The boys always had the ball out there and playtime, lunchtime, you know, and kicked it around. And well, Bodie's, I mean, you, you can't beat the gas he has, eh? He's, reminds me a bit of me running when I was um, playing. But no, he's, he's, mate, he's just so quick and, and what Bodie loves is clarity. He doesn't want too much in his head. And as I say, he was a big driving force in us making good decisions. So his kicking game out of hand, is phenomenal and, and actually the way he kicks those crossfield kicks is real similar to the way I remember Roger nailing those kicks. At the end of the day, Bodie's just a, he's just a top man. He, and he's, a, he's a Hurricanes man and he's, a, he's an all black and he's a Taranaki man and it always stick. he's just a great character. Yeah, well I mean it's just at school really. I mean like the boys, they learnt a lot on the back lawn themselves, just sidestepping and that but... Well actually Bowden, they, like even though they played at home, they never played until they were ten, 9 and 10. Robin sent them for, to, to soccer for two years, yeah, and that was, that was probably, like I say, kicking the ball, kicking the ball uh, round ball off the ground, you know, that's definitely the hand-eye coordination, you know, which was, said, said all the boys, you know, and, well, even the boys at school, you know, forget your right foot now, just start kicking on your left foot. As soon as you kick as far and accurate as your left foot, well, you know, you go back to your right foot, and same with passing, you know. That was just teaching the boys skills at school, you know, just, that's why we did so well, yeah. Um, well, the boys, they're, they're, just, they're just country boys, just fit in, yeah. I mean, they're just, we're all pretty laid back here on the coast, you know. So, I mean, it's, yeah, they, they just fit in. They played, uh, I think it was under 16. I might have been, yeah, Taranaki school boys here. Yeah. They all played that. Yeah, they just come up through the grades, under 16s, under 18s. Kane played two years in that. Bowden, he was only on the bench, you know, for the, the last year. Well, Bowden, uh, you know, he's been on the scene for, you know, probably three, four years now. And, you know, he's just grown and developed. Um, his game, the way that he really wanted to do, do it, and um, you know he's had some ups and downs, and and um, but he's just found last couple of years just found some real belief in um, his own game, and um, he's grown his confidence in running the game as well, and also organising other players around him, which is a, obviously a massive role as a as a um, fly off on first five eight before the June series against the Welsh side and then when he got the opportunity against Wales and he really nailed it. Like I say a lot of the island boys peak early and you know a lot of the, the European boys are a lot smaller so they don't mature till they you know 20, 21, 22. You just got to hone your skills and you, you, you get picked up here yeah, as simple as that yeah. Geordie was home here um, after the Man of Two game last weekend, he used to come over a couple of days but he had full intention of feeding the calves, but I'd feed them before he got out of bed, yeah. I said to the boys, I did my recovery walking up and down the pit in the morning at half past five, milking cows. Like Geordie's um, pretty special, I reckon. So getting him to the Canes has been massive. The thing about Geordie, he's quite a big boy, but and so he can carry, he can fend, he can get over game lines, but he's got a great rugby head like Bodie, and he sees things and he, and he can execute. So it's quite exciting having him at the Canes and that, you know, a different you know, different string to our bow that we might, you know, if he plays in the midfield, he can talk and execute and pass and kick. And, and if he plays in the back three, he can, he's got the great skill set. So, mate, we're in pretty good shape in the Canes, but having someone like Bodie will will add to what we can do, I think. Uh, with Geordie, um, you know, he was, he's always wanted to be a Hurricane. Um, you know, though he played at Winter Lincoln College in uh, Christchurch and played for Canterbury, his ambition was always to come back and be a, a Hurricane. And now that he's out of that age group rugby scene, he's, um, he's ready to go and contracting him was, uh, was good for our club. You know, obviously we see him as a real big player of the future. Um, and, you know, he gets spent on with his, with Bowden and, um, and you know, potentially if he plays at 12, then he'll be playing outside Bowdoin, which excites us, or we potentially could be playing at fullback, which is also great for us as well. Still, he's in a real development stage of his 
career, Geordie, so we've just got to be careful we don't expect too much from them too early um, and just give them time to grow and get used to all of us and the scene that we have here at the Hurricanes.